Hi everyone, video number 50, five zero. Let's build a Catholic foundation. So what does that mean to me? I'm sure you're well aware that I'm Catholic by now, if you've been watching my videos. This month, I've been doing leadership videos and I wanna talk about building a Catholic foundation um, to me, it's building a Catholic foundation at home, um, starting with myself and then raising my kids. If I expect, you know, my kids to know the Catholic faith, uh, study the Catholic faith, understand it, um, I need to be teaching them. I need to be practicing the Catholic faith. I need to be doing certain things um, to lead them. So. I do want to, real quick, um, I have my bio across social media and it reads, on a mission to help men become men of God, leading men to be a better husband. Let's build a Catholic foundation. Pray the family rosary and CMRI. So I have it in my bio, let's build a Catholic foundation. And that's really important to me. To me, it's more than just putting God first in your life. It's actually living out your Catholic faith. And another thing I do want to talk a little bit about in this video, I know it's a two minute video, it's a short video that I wanna put out there real quick and send a message out there about building a Catholic foundation but I do want to talk about CMRI. Someone asked me, what is CMRI? So real quick, CMRI is a religious group dedicated to preserving and spreading the traditional Catholic faith and the Fatima message, the priests, brothers and sisters of the Congregation of Mary Immaculate Queen, CMRI, are responsible for 120 traditional Catholic churches and mass centers, both in the U.S. and abroad, as well as 19 schools staffed by religious, several publications and online store, Mary Immaculate Queen Center, with an extensive inventory of traditional Catholic books and religious articles. And all that I, I just read from cmri.org. You could find more information about CMRI. You could read exactly what I just read out loud to you on their website. And one of the things you'll find out as well is um, Sete Vacante. And that's something that I've accepted. I accepted it 20, the year 2020, at the beginning of that year, um, Sete Vacante. And one of the things that I did want to mention, um, when it comes to that, basically as a Catholic, the way I see it, I just, I practice my Catholic faith the same way any other Catholic would have practiced it. Um, if we were still with Pope Pius XII before 1958. I feel like the Catholics before that time, you know, how the Catholic faith was practiced, I'm basically just living my Catholic faith in that way. That's the best way I could explain that. But there's obviously so many questions when that gets brought up. And I did my part to go figure out and find out the answers to my questions because I had a lot of questions about what that is and what that means. And there's plenty of people, there's resources, there's people that know so much about that. And I wasn't aware of it before I accepted it. And then when I became aware, I started asking questions. I started getting answers from people and they started guiding me to resources. So I ended up getting answers to my questions and then I accepted that position. And I live out my Catholic faith like I said, simply like any other Catholic, you know, before 1958, I just don't accept a lot of things after that, um, with Vatican II coming a little after that, 
with a lot of other things that are happening even till now like there's just a lot of change that has happened so i don't accept all of that i just live out my catholic faith prior to that like so um that's what i wanted to share with you guys i do want to build a catholic foundation in my home and i do want my kids to live out their catholic faith and that's my message to you guys like i say in every video Pray the rosary every day. Walk as a man of God.